As a young boy, I knew that there must be a way to restore your eyesight, to get good eyes again. And I was right. Problem is, when I did the research back then, I didn't find the right stuff. I didn't find the right person. Now, I have. And that is the precise reason as to why I'm making this video. Because if I have this knowledge, then you should have this knowledge. Seriously. In a few minutes, I'm going to tell you the exact things that you need to do to restore your eyesight. And I'm also going to tell you what causes bad eyesight in most people. Remember, this video is going to be focused on myopia because that's the biggest problem we face today. That is the most prevalent form of eye problem. Before we get into it, I just want to say thank you to Jake Steiner for making the videos that he does make. I did the research for this video through him and I hope that you go check him out if you want to learn more about this topic. We have to begin with the ciliary muscle. The ciliary muscle changes the lens in your eye depending on which distance you look at. So I want you to do a little exercise with me. Put your hand in front of your face. Now look at it. And then I want you to go to your nearest window and I want you to look as far away as possible. Seriously, do this because I want you to experience this firsthand. What you're doing when you're doing this exercise is this. When you look far away, you aren't contracting the ciliary muscle it stays relaxed. The lens stays like this. When the ciliary muscle contracts, so when you look closely, it's doing this. So it's a muscle right here that's pushing in the lens. And so the lens goes like this. So as you can see, when you look far away, your ciliary muscle is relaxed. But when you look closely, it's contracted. And what do we do in modern society with our computers, with our books, with our phones? We look closely. The problem here is that when you contract the ciliary muscle over a long period of time, so let's say three hours plus, you get near-induced transient myopia. And what does that mean? Near-induced, so it's caused by looking at things that are near the eye. Transient myopia, so temporary transient myopia, short-sightedness. So when you look at something closely for a long period of time, your vision gets blurry and you've probably experienced this. The problem is that if you do this many times throughout a long period of time, or it doesn't have to be long, it could be, you know, a few days, you get sort of a permanent ciliary spasm where your lens is staying like this because it's so contracted. Over time, this goes away if you change your visual environment, but for most people, it doesn't because they don't change their habits. So, they have a constantly contracted ciliary muscle, and now we call them short-sighted. The optometrist calls them short-sighted because of their ciliary spasm. There's nothing wrong with the eye, by the way. You just have to get rid of the ciliary spasm by changing the visual environment. But they say that they're short-sighted. And what happens now? Well, they get glasses. So what happens? Well, you're changing the focal plane just because of the ciliary spasm. And now uh, something horrible happens. Lens-induced myopia, yes. Your glasses cause short-sightedness. So when you wear glasses, you change the focal plane in your eye, and now your eye thinks that, okay, this is the way the light is coming in, so we have to reconfigure the eye, so it gets worse. And that's not the only thing. That's not the most horrible thing here, because you also get something called axial elongation. Your eye thinks it's too short because of the glasses that you're wearing, because they're changing the focal plane. So what happens to the eye? It elongates. What happens when the eye elongates? You get even more short-sighted. Now, did you get all that? If you didn't, listen closely. Because of a bad visual environment, you get near-induced transient myopia, and you think that you're short-sighted. So what you do is you get glasses, because that's the quick fix, that's the easy path. And now you get lens-induced myopia because you're wearing these glasses every day and you get axial elongation over time and uh, voila, you've got vision problems, you've got myopia. Alright, so how do you heal your eyesight? Well, as you can see, the problem is a ciliary spasm and your visual environment. So you have to make sure that you're not staring at screens all day. So if you're staring at a screen, you have to take breaks, okay? Every hour, take a break. A 5-minute break, a 10-minute break, take breaks and go outside. Okay. You have to reduce the time at which you spend looking at close objects every day. So go outside and look far away. 
for at least two hours. That's what Jake Steiner says. I would say increase that as much as you can, but at least two hours. Be outside, do things outside. Don't play video games, okay? So video games and your phone and all of this are going to make your vision worse. That's not a myth, that's an actual fact. So change your hobbies, change your habits, go outside, make sure you look far away so that your eyes can relax and work in the way nature intended them to do. The next thing is active focus. And active focus is basically when you look at something like text or a 3D object and you voluntarily try to make it as clear as possible with your eyes. So this can't really be explained. So how, how am I supposed to explain how you contract the, the muscles when you fart? You know how to do that, and I know how to do that, but I can't really explain how to do it. It's just a muscle that's down there, and I can sort of contract it, and then I fart if I have a fart. It's the same thing with active focus, really. And so what you're doing is you're looking at something, and the first time you look at it, it's more blurry than if you were to look at it a bit, and you blink, and you sort of try to refocus, and then suddenly you see it in the clearest way possible. And that's active focus. And when you do that, you train your eyes to focus correctly. So you're reversing the focus problems that you have with your eyes, which is basically a vi vision problems. You can't focus correctly on things, so they become blurry. Your eyes don't know how to m use the light because all of the infrastructure in there has changed because of your visual environment doing bad things to the eyes. So you do active focus, and that seems to make people reverse their eyesight problems. And just to be clear, when you reduce ciliary strain, when you start looking far away every day for at least two hours when you're outside, and when you do active focus, your eyes will slowly get better, okay? That is what I'm saying here. That's why I'm telling you this. This isn't just things you do to make sure your eyes don't progress backward. No, these changes in your eye usage, in your visual environment will actually make sure that your diopter reverses so it doesn't go bad it goes closer to zero if you want evidence for this I'd check out Jake Steiner and myopia.com he has many 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 testimonials over there go check him out go listen to the testimonials many people have reversed their eyesight problems and don't think that you can't do this of course you can anyone can do this that is how your eye works you have the exact same eyes that another person has, almost. It works the same way, essentially. So you can do this. Again, research the topic, or just use the things you've learned here and do it, and your eyes will slowly get better. Lastly, you might have heard about the Bates Method, and the Bates Method is a system for improving your eyesight developed by a guy called William Bates, and I believe it was in the beginning of the 20th century. So, this method basically entails sunning, palming, and eye exercises. And sunning is when you close your eyelids and you look at the sun. Relaxing, but I don't know if it really helps with anything. And then palming is when you put your palms on your eyes and this relaxes your eyes. Now you're going to see a theme here with the Bates method. And it is that with palming, you're relaxing the ciliary muscle because you're not straining it, you're not looking closely. So if palming does work, if palming has given people results, it is because you're relaxing the ciliary muscle. At least, that is my theory. And then, when it comes to eye exercises, I used to do this one. So I close one eye, and then I put my thumb out, and then I look far away, and then I look at my thumb, and I look far away, and then I look at my thumb, and then I put my thumb over here, and then I do the same thing. And personally, I believe this helped my eyes. Now, if this eye exercise that I just showed you works, it is because of active focus. Again, you're training your eye to focus actively and this improves your eyes. So if you were wondering about the Bates method, that is basically my opinion on it. You can do more research into it if you want to, but I think I've given you a pretty good explanation over here and the parts of it that actually work. With that said, I hope you actually do this if you have eye problems, and if they're very minor, remember, you can reverse it. If you have very severe eye problems, you can also reverse them. You just have to change your visual environment and you have to do the things I've said in this video. And again, go to Jake Steiner's uh, YouTube channel, go to his website and myopia.com, look at the testimonials, 
um, look at his articles, read them, and don't just look at them, read them, um, educate yourself when it comes to this topic, look at the links down below, and uh, with that said, go and achieve excellent health, I know you can do it.